Hello guys, I am Aksha. I am 15 years old and I like making new stuff, repairing old stuff, bicycling, playing games, surfing net and in my spare time I also make some instructables which you can see on instructables.com. Michael Faraday is my idol as I see him one of the most best physicists in the world. He made many inventions, most of them I liked, like electric motor. It is the most common thing that we all use in our lives. It can be used as a pump, as a generator and much much. Hello guys, I am Abhay and I am 15 years old and I like to make stuff, innovate and save energy because energy is the ultimate source of living. In my spare time, I do many activities like solving math problems, some sci doing some science experiments, making new stuff and uploading vi stuff videos on youtube.com. Sir Thomas Alva Edison is my idol because he had the spirit to never give up and I also do not like to give up. We want to always make something new that is not made before in this world. We want to generate energy, free energy. We are always working towards magnetic effects of electric current, heating effects of electric current and the coils related to the electricity. I was always amazed by things like induction, making electricity by moving uh, magnets and generating free energy. So we developed a thing which we call lead USB, USB. which stands for lead for leading, US for us and B for beyond. That means leading us beyond. beyond. We created this, this device and it works properly in the sun. This device will give us 5 volt to charge our dev uh, devices like phones, tablets. But how does the LED work as a solar cell? This question arises when we are making this. So to explain this, here we give you a full detail video of explaining how LED works as a solar cell. In this project, we have used red LEDs because red light has the lowest wavelength and it, is, it generates the max energy. Red LEDs act as a solar cell when irradiated by solar energy. When solar light is allowed to fall on these LEDs through the window of an LED, the photons of the light which have wavelength equal to the band gap of the LED penetrates deep into the PN junction. On absorbing the energy from these photons, the electron hole bond at the PN junction breaks and result in accumulation of electrons in this N side and holes in the P side. So P side will be more positive than the N side. This makes anode positive and cathode negative. Hence LED act as a cell. Here by N we mean, mean negative and by P we mean positive. Remember that. The voltage produced by a single LED is about 1.3 to 1.4 volts. That is much and we can use it nicely. But a single LED cannot produce much current. It only can produce 400 micro ampere. That is nothing. So we developed a circuit that will generate a normal amount of current that is required by your gadgets like phones, tablets to charge. And for that we have connected a generic uh, jewel thief to these four LEDs which is just compactly fitted in the small 9 volt battery case that makes it great. Uh, now if we have made this, so what we can do with these? We can make cheap solar cells. They can be used to charge mobile phones, 
and we can use them as double voltage oscillators that can be used for low power devices like mosquito repellents or yeah. calculators the advantages of this solar pen are many the cost incurred is low they are economical in use they are easy available they are much cheaper to make but there are disadvantages also if we look on them they are like if the leds are exposed to sunlight for more hours the leds can be damaged in order to prevent this one must use high power leds all the leds should face the sun at the same angle if one led is not facing the sun at the same angle it will take all the voltage produced by another other leds and it will glow up wasting all the energy so this can be done by mounting all the leds on a common pcb like we have done on in this but since the output current is low for high power applications more number of leds must be used but this makes the circuit bulky for that we use joule tape that multiplies voltage as well as current simultaneously but before making this final prototype we have made a few before and a few afterward this section of our video describes now something more about research and prototype designing about this this is not our first prototype of this circuit of this project before this we have made some older prototypes their disadvantages were they were bigger they needed more than 20 to 30 leds uh, they wasted energy as they didn't use joule thief and they used 7805 voltage regulator for regulated 5 volt output but they had some advantages also from this one like they had indicators for in for indicating charging and working and they had an on off switch so that we can on and off the circuit while not in use they have some space left for storing something like 9 volt batteries your watches many things like cells leds etc they can charge more than two devices simultaneously but this this prototype can charge single line device these devices also need ferrite to ride which is hard to get less wastage of energy will be done as this does not use 7805 and these use joule thief which multiplies voltage and current at the same time by an oscillating circuit but there are good reasons also to make this circuit the, these were as follows like it uses just four leds it is little in size so it can be stored anywhere in pockets or in pencil cases etc anywhere where you can think of storing some battery like things but these are also very much cheap and lightweight as for a power bank they are heavy weight they need more of space the first prototype that we made needed many components like three capacitors one voltage regulator four five leds and 20 red leds for generating energy we needed two three usb ports so it made the circuit bulky and it was a little bigger and harder to carry we had made a second prototype it used only four leds two diodes a capacitor a resistor a joule thief circuit ne a a ferrite to ride a transistor a usb port and some wires but it wasn't uh, sure that if there is no sun we can't charge our devices we will need only sun to charge our devices so for the third prototype we decided to add four 1.5 volt batteries that were rechargeable hence enhancing its functionality and here you can see there are two ports here we have made it a inner circuit so that we can attach our battery so this device can charge your phone in minimum sunlight or no sunlight this device when sunlight falls on it at a specific angle it charges the battery connected here and then it if there is no battery connected it directs the 
voltage to the USB port which can be connected to any OTG or on the go cable and which can be connected to any tablet phone device that needs 5 volt for charging but if there is no sum the battery charges it the USB volt here and it can also charge but where we can get these things as we have said earlier this is very cheaper and we can get all the things recycled like we can uh, we can get leds from old electric bulbs led bulbs that we have in our homes and they may have at maximum 30 leds we can get diodes from a broken cfl you may check out our other videos for getting more information on this we can get capacitors from old cfl we can get transistors from old RC car and radio transmitters. We can get resistors from some old phone chargers. We can also get these toroids from us. Or uh, USB ports we can get from old pen drives or old C. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.